there's growing interest in liposomal vitamin C. It can be easy and relatively inexpensive to make. I picked up some ascorbic acid from BulkSupplements.com. After looking into the product, I was able to see a statement by the company that it's non-GMO, which is reassuring. You'll also need sunflower lectin. Make sure that it's also non-GMO. You'll also need a digital scale that can measure up to at least 40 grams. You'll need to be able to measure out 250 milliliters. You'll need a digital ultrasonic cleaner. Make sure that it's not the cheapest kinds they sell. I know this one's strong enough. I've heard some of them aren't powerful enough to form the liposomes effectively. You're also going to need a blender. Any blender will do. A mason jar. And distilled water. So the first step is to measure out 35 grams of sunflower lectin with the digital scale and pour it into 250 milliliters of water and blend it slightly so that it's mixed up and let it sit for two hours. Next take 30 grams of ascorbic acid and mix that into a mason jar with 250 milliliters of distilled water. Next we're going to add water to the ultrasonic cleaner. Fill it up past halfway um, so that when you put the mason jar in, it doesn't overflow. But what you want is the water level in the ultrasonic cleaner to come up to uh, near the top of the mason jar. Using a non-metal stir device, could be a glass stirrer or a plastic spoon or a wooden spoon, stir in the distilled water in the mason jar with the vitamin C and then place the mason jar into the ultrasonic cleaner emerged in the water and turn the ultrasonic cleaner on. We do not need any heat settings for this project. If your ultrasonic cleaner has heating, place it on the lowest setting so that only the ultrasonic cleaner is on. Be warned that the ultrasonic cleaner does clean with sound. So um, if you have pets, you might want to move them outside or to another area. Um, you could even wear hearing protection while you're doing this. The goal of this step is for the vitamin C to completely absorb into the distilled water that's down in the mason jar. So continue stirring with a non-metallic stirrer until it becomes a clear liquid. You now have two containers. One has 250 milliliters of distilled water with the vitamin C. The other is 250 milliliters of distilled water with the sunflower lectin. Before mixing the two containers together, go ahead and give the sunflower lectin another blend for about 30 seconds to ensure it's fully mixed. Now you can pour in the vitamin C solution into the sunflower lectin solution and go ahead and blend those for 60 seconds on high. A quick disclaimer. There are multiple ratios reported online for making this mix. I went with one of the higher vitamin C ratio mixes. Uh, according to different naturopaths and functional doctors, they are clinically finding better results using a slightly higher amount of vitamin C in the ratio. There are other options out there, and they all work r really great. Okay, this is our final solution. Now we just have to pour this back into the mason jar, put this in the ultrasonic cleaner, Set a timer for 45 minutes. If you've got a timer on the ultrasonic cleaner, mine caps out at 30. I just come back and add another 15 minutes on it. Again, make sure you're not using the heating. If you have a heating um, aspect of yours, you just have that on lowest setting. And stir it regularly. Remember not to use a metal spoon. Um, I use a wooden spoon. You can use a glass stirrer. But stir it regularly, and after 45 minutes, we're done. That's it. And then the serving size for this is 50 milliliters. It's recommended every two to three hours if you're feeling ill, or you can just do, you know, one shot in the morning every day. Uh, the lifespan of this, if you keep it in the mason jar sealed up in the fridge, is about four days. Some people say longer. Um, so I just got a cycle going where I'm making every, you know, three or four days, I'm making another batch. And this is one of the most powerful antioxidants in the world and one of the best things that you can do. And it's pretty inexpensive and doesn't take too long. So just a note on the dosage, even though it's recommended 50, this is something you can high dose on. So um, I, I can take about two shot glasses of this every couple of hours and be just fine. Uh, that might not be the case for everybody. Um, the ceiling is what they call bowel capacity. So if you're finding yourself go to the restroom regularly, you can, you can taper back. 
but there aren't very negative side effects for doing too much of this. So um, enjoy, guys, and uh, take care.